Hi, this is Manish. There is one of the very basic question which has been asked to me is what information is captured in autopilot hardware hash. So if I open the file, you can see this is how the file looks like. If I say that this file can be converted easily into a much more readable format, you can see that hardware hash info, the default CSV file, it looks like a junk characters. You might not be able to understand it, but this is what we are going to discuss in this uh, video, a very short video that how we can decode this thing to see that what exactly the information is captured. So let's focus upon what exactly is autopilot hardware hash and how to read and decode it. Usually we know that autopilot hardware hash is a unique hardware hash info for a device which captures a lot of information related to hardware. But what exactly that information is captured, we are not too much sure until unless we explore this hardware hash file. So this uh, information of autopilot hardware hash can be explored via OEM activation tool that is called OA3tool.exe. You might be asking that how we can get this OEM activation tool. It's very simple. You can install Windows ADK, Windows, which is also called Windows Accessment, Accessment and Deployment Toolkit. And I'm only looking for a specific component that is called deployment tools. So if you install ADK with just deployment tools, you will be able to get that too and we can run specific command line to decode the file. So let's run the demo. We will be downloading the tool, we'll be running the command and we'll be decoding and reading the autopilot hardware hash info. I have logged on to one of the Windows 11 device. It's a virtual machine, Hyper-V. So this is where I'm going to download the tool. I have created a directory called temp. This is where I will be capturing the hardware hash. Let's open the browser. Let me download Windows ADK. ADK setup.exe has been downloaded. I'm executing it. Let me go with the default path. Next. Next. Accept. I'm not going with all the components. I'm only inter interested with deployment tools. If I click on deployment tools, you can see that what exactly the components it is going to install. Deployment, image servicing and management, uh, DISM tool, OEM activation 2.5 and 3.0 tools. This is what exactly I'm looking for. That's why deployment tools are, is required. Apart from that, I'm not interested for anything else. So let me deselect it. That's it. Click on install. ADK is installed now. Let me launch deployment and imaging tools with admin rights. So I am in the directory C program files x86 Windows kits 10 assessment and deployment kit deployment tools. Let me search where exactly the tool is. I believe it will be in AMD 64. Licensing. And OA3. So this is the path licensing OA30. I can see oa3tool.exe. I can simply go and copy this oa3tool.exe and paste it somewhere else and can, can use it. But let me just try to use it directly from here. Let me see what exactly the command lines it supports. So oa3tool slash question mark. I, I can see that a lot of uh, supported uh, parameters are there. I'm mainly interested into the decode hw hash. But before decoding, I need to have the hardware hash. So let me capture the hardware hash. I'm opening PowerShell. Let me install get dash windows autopilot info community, which is the PowerShell script to generate the auto autopilot hardware hash. Script is installed. Now let me run the script. I'm generating the output file in temp folder with the name hash.csv. That's it and my file has been captured. If I open the temp directory, yes, I can see the hash.csv file is here. If I open the file, let me open it with the uh, notepad. I can see this is how the hardware hash file looks like. To decode the hardware hash, I need to remove device serial number, Windows product ID, hardware hash, and the serial number information it means from here, Till here, till uh, double commas, I have to remove the information because to decode uh, the 
uh, this csv file this information is not required once deleted this is what actually i need let me save the file that's it done let me come back to the deployment and imaging uh, tools environment where exactly i am into oa30 folder let me run the command oa3 tool dot exe decode hw hash and i will be pointing to the file which i have generated the file has been generated but i can see the output only on the command prompt let me capture this file into the text format i'm just going to use the same format but double uh, double arrow c temp file dot txt now i have a, i have the hash dot csv which is not in a readable format but another file which is file dot txt if i open it here you go now i have a file which is completely in a readable format all the hardware report is captured it is able to capture all the hardware inventory such as the process model sm bias details total physical ram the disk information is here disk type is here so every kind of information what hardware hash has to offer it has captured i can show you another link which will be very useful for you this is the link which talks about the oa3 tool command line and config file syntax if you are more interested in exploring this tool you can simply go through it this in this tool what in, in point, important information what i found was that you can run the validate hardware hash information also it is also showing that validate sm bias slash validate so so many different parameters are there in case if you are having some trouble related to autopilot hardware hash info and you are the device is not able to offer the profile deployment profile to a device that could be because of any specific field which might be missing uh, i can see over here that the critical fields are generated and the important fields are generated if you wanted to do a deep dive into the hardware hash then this information this link can be useful i'm just going to uh, provide this link information into the description hope this uh, this video brings some value add for you for the autopilot hardware hash thank you so much